Hey everyone, how to create a bootable USB Ubuntu stick on Windows. You'll need a USB stick, a flash drive, an external hard drive with at least 2 gigabytes of free space, and a PC with at least 2 gigabytes of free space. First thing you want to do is check the system type of your computer. You can do this by going to the top right, searching, and typing CMD for the command prompt you can right click and run as administrator for the command prompt. Now the command prompt will open and you can type in the command WMIC space OS space get space OS architecture to get the system type of your computer. This line will output the system type of your computer. It can be 32-bit or 64-bit. As you can see my computer is 64-bit. Now after you know what system type you have, you can X out of the command prompt and go to your web browser. We'll be going to the Ubuntu website and going to the download page. Now the name of the link is ubuntu.com slash download slash desktop. On the page you'll see two different versions of Ubuntu. The older version which provides extended support and the one that is the newest for the latest features. Now I'm interested in Ubuntu 13.10 which is the most up-to-date version at the moment. I'll pick 64-bit because that's my system type and I'll press the orange button. Now on this page that's coming up it says that you can contribute some money to Ubuntu if you wish to. Now you can choose whether or not to give money but I'll just lower all of these bars to zero and then proceed to the download. Now once you hit the download button, you'll start downloading Ubuntu immediately, or it might bring up a prompt in which you just save the file. Now, the file itself of Ubuntu is an ISO extension, and it is around 850 megabytes, so depending on your internet connection, it'll take approximately 15 minutes to 20 minutes. Ubuntu has finished downloading, so now we can move on to the next step, which is getting Universal USB Installer. This software allows you to get a bootable USB flash drive with Ubuntu easily. It's a very easy software to use, and anybody can use it. We'll go down to the page and click the download, and it'll save that executable file. Once the download is done, you just click the executable file and run it you can click I agree and on this page you want to input your USB flash drive into your computer put it right into your in one of the USB ports of your computer a prompt will come up and you can just ignore it but now that you have your USB flash drive in your computer you can select your OS that you're gonna put on that USB flash drive we're going to put Ubuntu on our USB flash drive so click Ubuntu and now we want to browse the file in which we just downloaded, which was the Ubuntu iOS file. It should save in your downloads by default, but you might have a different folder in which you save your downloads. So after that's done, you want to find your USB flash drive, but it might not appear, so check the box, and then select the USB drive that fits the memory of your flash drive. Since I have a 16 gig flash drive, I know it's 14 gigs, and you want to check the format box. Now if you click create, it will give you a little prompt that shows what's going to happen. It's going to format and delete everything on your flash drive. It's going to create the MBR, the label, and install Ubuntu on your flash drive. And you can click yes. Now you will just see it installing Ubuntu on your USB flash drive it'll make that USB flash drive bootable and after the entire installation is done you can finally boot up your computer with Ubuntu via the flash drive so the approximate time is around five minutes and you'll you can just wait until that's done I will skip ahead in a little bit and show you the finished product. 
So we'll just wait in a little bit more until Okay, so let's skip. Now your U universal USB installer has installed Ubuntu on your USB flash drive. It says installation done and the process is complete. You can click done. Now you can go to your computer and then right click and eject your USB flash drive. You can see it says install Ubuntu now. So you know that it's working properly. Now you can eject your USB flash drive. Now I will restart my computer and test if the USB flash drive does boot into Ubuntu or not. Now once you restart, you'll, you might see that screen that pops up every time you start your computer. You want to figure out what button boots into the boot menu setup. Now for my computer it's F12, but for your computer it might be F12, F10, or F2. If I press F12, which gets me to the boot options, I can see what I can boot into. Now you can go into the setup and change the boot order, or you might have this option for boot menu. Now after you put in your USB flash drive, I will turn off my computer, turn it back on again, and go back into the boot menu by pressing F12. Now I press F12, and I am at my boot menu. I can see USB storage device and I want to press enter. Now you can see that little icon at the bottom means that it is booting into Ubuntu. We'll just wait a second and test whether or not it works properly. Everything's functional. We don't have any problems. We are going to wait until Ubuntu loads and we'll just test it a little bit. Okay, so now the screen is popping up. This purplish screen is what Ubuntu looks like. And I'll click Try Ubuntu to test if everything worked properly. Now the screen goes into Ubuntu. The test is perfect. So if you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe. And thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. And have a nice day.